one of the biggest things happening in school, which is the subject of today's today's gonna be break, is all about cheating. We talked about this several times before in the show, but uh, now it's time to look at some articles that explain the situation. Like uh, today, one school has a secret to to pass rates in cheating. We're gonna look at that today. And why schools are banning watches during exams. These stories and more on today's Give Me a Break. Good afternoon, thanks for joining us. We begin with a with the high school's secret to pass to high to high pass rate in cheating in cheating. And that secret is teachers. According to the New York Post, they call it the Mass Peth. Premium, meaning everyone gets the least minimum grade or score needed to pass or graduate no matter what. All the whistleblowers say they call it a fraud. The secret to the school's 98% graduation, 90% Reagan's pass rate, they say is simple. Cheat. All four teachers told the Post that the 2100 student that the 2100 student high school awarded prestigious national brew rib back in 2018 by the Federal Secretary of Education had unwritten the ironclad no-fail policy even for the kids who repeatedly don't do the work even show up. One recent graduate posted on Instagram about taking a Mandarin in 11th grade writing <clears throat> This graduate said there was no way I could pass there was no way I should, pa should have passed that class. But in the end, someone raised the student's failing grade just, in, just high enough to earn the credit. <clears throat> Other statements and documents brought to City Councilman Robin Holm of the Queens. Teachers blew, blew the whistle on various alleged grade fixing exams. Some described schemes. These allegations were raised to the post. Administration strong arm and teachers face face re face relatory evaluations or trumped up disciplinary charges and tear and fear of losing their jobs if they don't cooperate. You are calling in about kids who are failing the message. Failing the message is make sure you pass them, a teacher said. Another teacher recalled a student who didn't didn't have to worry about flunking even after <clears throat> Excuse me, flubbing his course and blowing off a last minute makeup packet. I felt forced to pass in, his teacher said, admitting the act of self protection felt as wrong and unethical. <clears throat> Fake classes were taught last year by assistant principals Jesse Pather and Stefan Sting, teacher's charge. Some of the classes were scheduled during phantom periods. 0, 9, and 10. Records show students didn't, didn't attend the non-existent sessions. But, credits go, but got credits toward graduation, teachers said. They didn't reply to any of the emails. Last school year, at least four students were marked absent all day for four to five months, records show, but were allowed to join the, due, the June 26th ceremony. This list goes on and on like administrators trying to blind eye the student dishonesty. Even this statement, if you bring in the dean, discipline is laughable. There is no consequence to misbehavior or disrespecting teachers for cheating or for cheating. Discipline is not laughable. Discipline is about teaching right and wrong. I mean you can't just laugh at discipline and say, I'm gonna give you detention. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> then the State Education Commissioner Mary Helen Ella in June named Massapeth one of the 562 regulation schools in 2018-2019 high academic achievement student growth graduation rate. According to the latest data available, 99% of all Massapeth students graduated in four years 2018. 
Let's see his overall average is now 76. The bottom line here is don't laugh at discipline if And there is even ways, I mean, this was from the mayor. Deba also knew of alleged grave fixing, but failed to act, says the councilman. The mayor was personally alerted the evidence of grave fixing and fraud at the high school in mid-August, but ignored pleas to remove the school's allegedly cooked leaders before the new school year. The district attorney is launching this investigation. This is the class schedule showing the highlighted courses not scheduled to meet, like Journalism, topics in health, and participation in government. Three days after the front page report of the news, September fifteenth. After September fifteenth, three days after, two DOE investigators met with Holman, but had yet to start to work on the case. I mean, he. If you go to school to get your education, cheating is wrong. I mean, you know that. I mean, you knew the consequences to cheating. In Texas, it's a state law to be cheating. Even in colleges. Last month, Forbes. Forbes did an article about this, looking the other way at cheating in college. USA Today recently published a major piece on the high-tech nature of academic cheating. One public state school with a large online program recently took a hard look at the issue of cheating. Faculty receive academic dishonesty as a serious persistent problem at school. The report says and described the problem as being largely beyond their control. The same report found in nearly half of the program's chairs. 49% and nearly 40% of teachers reported detecting plagiarism in other every single class. Just like last time we talked about this, I talked to you about a, a primetime live, deep, a primetime Thursday report from ABC about, about cheating and plagiarism. We talked about, we talked about a website that would detect everything. And this is the latest, this is this just latest like 38 minutes ago. Parents voiced support for the the parents supported, but parents voiced support for Mass with High. Allegations by widespread cheating and swirled September meeting at the Parent Teacher Association or the PTA saw support for the school last Wednesday. One mother whose son was whose son who was a junior said, I've never seen a school well so run or applause from the other parents. But they don't know that it was a fraud? This is all like cheating ink. How writing papers for American college students has become lucrative possession over the seas. It's all about plagiarism. It's a huge problem. Plagiarism is wrong without citing sources. If you don't cite your source, that's plagiarism. All TV shows cite sources. Like if they were to like show a study, they cite the source. No excuse. If you're gonna write your paper for, if you're gonna write a report for your school, like, if you're, here's the thing for you guys. If your teacher asks you to write a report about, or make a PowerPoint about the Industrial Revolution, you you can very well do some research. But 
if you want to copy and paste, you need to cite your sources, always. Cite your sources. I mean, last time we talked about cheaters and cheater, teachers and cheater, where we talked about uh, how teachers uh, looked at the papers that the kids turned in and graded them and corrected them. One teacher said that she never did, but she knows people who have. And now let's look at the watches from the Guardian.com. Commission says iVillagators cannot tell which devices are connected to the internet. I mean, all watches should be banned from exam halls as more than devices become connected to the internet. The Independent Commission examination set up by exam boards to investigate the prevalence of cheating in public exams warned that uh, they cannot tell the difference between smart watches and traditional watches. Though the body, it's, though the body said cheating was rare, so the increasing internet-enabled devices, a cell phone can be used to be cheating. A uh, pen, I mean, there are ways to cheat and get away with it. And if you were to use a pen that could see through, like write stuff on your hand, they can assume that you're cheating. The Joint Council for Qualifications, which commissioned a review, said it would consider it a ban. Ban watch for next summer's exams as well as the report's other recommendations. It also recommended the exam boards monitor the dark web for illegal sale of exam papers and said toilet sweeps to check hidden notes and phones should be carried out during the exam exam periods. I mean, the one thing to fucking hate about those is that, uh, the thing is, I mean, if you were to, like, sell cheat sheets, People selling cheat sheets, I hate those. I hate those people. They're dumbasses. They don't know that cheating is wrong. Cheating is, is really wrong. I mean, people don't know the consequence of this. If you cheat, you get a zero. You get a zero on your test. Even on your exams. If you were writing on, writing your hand or sticking out on your hand, and you go, and then they're going to walk around like... <clears throat> Sorry. They're just going to walk around like saying, what are you doing? Nothing. <clears throat> Alright, next. All right, when we come back here, we're going to look at the polls. We're going to have some studies and polls that uh, discuss this topic. Like how often you, do students cheat in schools? How often do... Uh, People get caught in stuff. And uh, some, and some surveys. Who we'll bear right Today's show is gonna be today's show is all about cheating. Not just cheating in schools. When people like we're gonna look at, we're looking at studies, like to, like this one right here. We're looking at a study from a cheating medical school. This survey shows that 80% like eighty percent like disagree. Anyone cheats in medical school one time or the other, 80.5% 80, 80, 80 said they disagree. 12.5% say me. Copy answer and test, 15.3% say they observed, while 32.5% uh, said they heard about it. This is the graph. Here's a graph to show that. Number of schools see this. It goes, number five goes like all the way up. This is the parent percent of students supporting cheating. So, almost like 95%. 30% of people don't report it in. 
Studies have shown if you don't report cheating, if you just like report cheat, don't report in cheating. In this survey, 24,000 students at 70 high schools found that 64% of students admitted to cheating on a test, 58% admitted to plagiarism, 95% said they participated in some form of cheating, whether it was on a test, plagiarism, or copying homework. While 86% of college students say they cheated, Seventy-five in the Huffington Post. Seventy-five percent of college students admit cheating. During the nineteen forties, twenty percent of college students admit they're cheating, and today it's between seventy-five and ninety-eight percent of college students who survey each year were having cheated in high school. Cause and effect of cheating is just like a I mean cheaters never win. I mean seriously, some schools have a consequence. Let me be high school's consequences like first offense. Zero on the quiz. Two, F for the rest of the semester. Third time, parents have to be called. All schools have to realize this. If a student cheats, then the administrator has to call in. He has to call the, the teacher has to realize it, send him to the office, and then phone call home. Nobody else realizes this, that bit, but cheating is a serious issue here. It's the dumbest things you can get can get away with. If you were to Google up ways to get away If you were to Google ways to get away from cheating test and then look up videos about this like uh, don't bring out secret notes avoid using eraser Write down answers on the turn side of your paper. Tiny notes to clothes, sleeves, baseball hats. This is not a how-to manual. This is just people, how people use this. I mean, how people get away with it. Answers on a desk, using the inside of a hat. Notes on fingernails. The water bottle trick. Thighs and knees. Kleenex notebook, stick answers on your clothes or hands, sunglasses. Keep in mind, this is not a how-to manual. Don't do this and post a comment saying, I did it. I don't want the teachers, I don't want teachers coming to me and saying, you let this happen. It's just one of the dumbest things you can get away with. Seriously, you cheat, you get a zero. That's it. There is no but. There's no excuse for you to be like, well, I just wanted to get my grade up a boot. I just wanted my grades in that class. My grades are in that class are terrible. I thought I'd just give it a boost.
if you write down a cheat sheet on a piece of paper and then hide it, they're going to know about it. You're going to get in trouble. In these videos, no cheating in school. Explains all of that. I mean, cheating is wrong. It's not okay. And you'll be sitting down in the office saying, well, I, well my grades in that class are terrible. I just thought I'd give it a boost. I mean, if you cheat, there's disciplinary action. Like detention, suspension, anything. Phone call home to your parents, anything. Bottom line is, cheating is wrong. Cheaters never win. No more cheating. If you cheat, I mean... These, these two celebrities, Lily Laughlin from Full House and Felicity, and Felicity were wealthy parents who just uh, just got charged for bribery, for, for, for like cheating. I mean, if I see cheating in my school, I have no tolerance for it. I would just report, I would just, if I was a teacher and I saw cheating, I would just drop the paper and make him go to the office. And I would say, he was cheating with another, I saw him cheating with another, cheating on his paper with another student, so I got angry, so I had to tore up this paper. So I confronted him about it, he said he did it, he said he didn't do it, but, but the other student says he, he did, and then I just realized that he was telling the truth. So there's consequences of this. Zero on the test, zero on the exam, zero on the test, zero for the semester, and then a uh, phone call home to parents, and, this, and then there's disciplinary action. Ne Alright, next we're going to talk about verbal abuse, why, why, why I don't tolerate it, and why it should not be allowed in school. We'll be right, we'll be right back. Verbal abuse. I hate it as much as I hate vandalism and cheating. I mean, saying, saying, saying inappropriate stuff to a teacher, it's just wrong. Teachers deserve the respect. I mean, they're teaching, they, all schools are teaching people that when you go to class, you're, at, you're being taught to show respect. Students are to learn that, 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 you have, that you have to respect your elders, and to get that respect back, you're going to have to earn it. I mean, if you're being rude to your teacher, they're gonna write the ref they're gonna write a referral on you, and then and then you're gonna be in big trouble. Doesn't matter if it's a substitute teacher or a regular teacher, you still don't, you still know what you did is wrong. Verbal abuse, verbal abuse, is just absolutely wrong. I mean, I would never verbally abuse my teacher. If I did, I would be in big trouble. Written down a referral saying that uh. Jonathan was being verbally abusive to me. Jonathan was sent out of class because he was verbally abusive. It was just if it was just a regular teacher or a substitute. I mean, yeah, subs just. I mean, it's true. Subs don't sit. Just subs just sit there. That's true, but they do qualify to be a teacher. There are times to where, uh, I mean, no 
don't verbally abuse your teacher. Or I mean, if you say anything negative to your teacher, curse, call them a name, verbal abuse. It's just wrong. Wrong to be use verbal abuse. You're to treat teachers with respect and kindness, period. Whether you like the person or not, you still have to show them respect. So still, you should not be able to use verbal abuse. I mean, that's why foul language is not because it's verbal, because it's, it's abusive. You just gotta learn to to respect your elders and respect people, respect respect the administrators. I don't think, I don't think you can get away with it and stuff. <sighs> All right, we found out with this. All right, I guess I mean. I just get like a list of cards and uh, I mean for the show I just get like a list of cards like give me some cards to read and I don't know if I don't, I don't know if any of these topics the cheating part of the cheating part of this I just understand about but I don't really know what I'm supposed to do I could just like talk about I, mean, I could just talk about I don't know why I could but I, Either way, like, I'm done with this crap. Verbal abuse is wrong. Don't ever do it to your teacher. If you do, you're going to be in trouble. Like, use foul language on a teacher? That's not acceptable behavior. Bad language is bad behavior. You just don't reward bad behavior, period. It's just wrong. Okay, that's our report for tonight. I'll see you see I'll see you Wednesday. Have a good afternoon, everyone.